speaking of Dragon Ball Super and the manga, it is time to finally get into that. And <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. So we told you that we're going to get you caught up to speed, right? Yes. So basically, Kai, you told me that you let him know about Black Frieza, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I had to. Right. Okay. So essentially, Nasir, what's been happening is a lot of nothing, right? Ever <laughs> since that last chapter came out, 87, fans have been losing their minds, as always. More so than not, actually. And it's kind of weird. Mm -hmm. It's kind of ridiculous. Um, and it's been like this whole thing back and forth with what's in the timeline and what isn't, what's canon, what's not. And it's just very out there and because there hasn't been any new dragon ball official media to absorb or to intake or whatever like they you took mean outside this, the manga right? right like yeah like outside the manga the anime because there's no anime right now they only had the movie like superhero um and they decided to take a hiatus despite when they first started the manga they said like well the point of this is to kind of fill the void of the anime whenever the anime is really not around up until mm -hmm. this point so they basically took like what like uh september was the last chapter so what like october november and then they're coming back so basically like almost pushing three months of nothing and it's only a monthly so it comes out once a month and you know fans have kind of been like losing their shit with like exactly how this whole thing is gonna go we've, we've even had leakers right come out <laughs> of nowhere on twitter trying to get all this false hope like, you know, stirred up for fans being like, oh, yeah, like anime is getting announced. There's going to be a trailer on this date. It's going to cover this. None of it's happened, right? The only thing that has been ofi well, official as far as being real has been the speculation towards projects that are being worked on that are coming out next year. Um, mm -hmm. But until then, this new manga arc is supposed to be a way to cushion in the superhero movie right and did, did you watch superhero by the way did you see it no i wanted to and by the time it hit theaters here like i got too busy so i think mm. you know like uh, i'll just give it a proper watch like maybe i'll buy it or something uh but yeah i i'm, I'm really want to see it i think there's like another gohan in it or something <laughs> like, <laughs> I, I heard like people saying like Gohan the Beast or something. Oh, I he's a beast, all right. Looks like, but uh, I if it's about Gohan, man, that that'd be wicked because Dragon Ball Z was supposed to be about Gohan <laughs> the whole time, um, and it stopped being about him, and they made him lame somehow. <laughs> and then maybe it was cool for a little while in the Majin Buu saga, but then, dude, what a dork. Ah. Then, you know, um, but yeah, knowing that this movie is about Gohan or like uh, Piccolo, uh, mm -hmm. that'd be wicked. I, I want to see that. So really quick, you know, I was going to talk about this anyway, right? Um, just to kind of get this out of the way. So because you mentioned that you were going to be interested in at least getting a, a physical release or whatever when it when it when it's available, right? Well, much like how <laughs> Look at God. Much like how these people and I say Japan, right? They released superhero for themselves 3 months ahead of time from the rest of the world. Mm -hmm. They're doing the same thing with their 4K release, right? So the 4K release is now out in Japan. You can only get it in Japan. So you could probably import it, I'm sure, like off of like, you know, like whatever sites that might uh, provide them. But there's a 4K release. And even the 4K release has the same issues that the previous uh, home releases had with like Broly and stuff, where... There's like a green tint. Have you heard? Have you seen that? Heard of that? Mm, I mean, the whole movie's green. The pro movie. Well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like that's like that's that, that's like it's like that, that's a joke. Like, oh, how would you be able to tell because of that, right? But like when you when you look when you look at the scenes that are not like so around Broly, you can see on those Blu-rays there's like this weird green tint. It's like very faint, but it's noticeable enough. So if you watched it on uh, theaters or on Netflix, because it's there too, would you see the tint? Well, 
I don't know if it's ever going to be on a streaming service like that. If anything, I'd guess Crunchyroll, but the theater version's fine. It's the home release versions that have had this problem. Toei just doesn't know how to like master properly. And we have fans that are like specialists in this field that like are just putting it out there like they they're they're still messing up. And fans in Japan, it's not even just like, you know, fans, you know, globally, fans in mm -hmm. Japan writing emails to Toei about the problems and Toei responds with the most head ass like response ever what did they say basically like paraphrasing they're just like oh yeah this is how the uh animators intended it to be really no you can't buy that <laughs> there's what no way <laughs> there's zero way that that's how it is right so that's the well, fun. How that, green is it? The way you can tell is if you look, try to look at something white. Like I said, it's it's noticeable enough, but like you know, to to a, to an average fan, like you're just gonna watch it. It's not gonna it's not gonna matter. I mean, cause at the end of the day, like you know, we would watch it. You know, as long as it's not no like freaking handy cam bootleg or whatever. <laughs> yeah. you, know, you know what I'm saying? But Dude, if that was totally animation, my response would have been one word and. <laughs> like, just go watch the movie <laughs> yeah like like the theatrical releases are always fine like there's no no issues there everyone enjoys them you know they get they enjoy the experience and everything but it's always the home releases that get screwed over and toei has had this issue time and time again over the years where they like when it comes to home releases dvds box sets and all that kind of stuff they just can't get it right there's always some sort of mm. issues um, with cropping, scaling, color correction, the green tint, and it still happens to this day. So, mm. speaking of, well, I'll just get my own, right? So we gotta wait until March, okay? For our, <laughs> for our version, right? U.S. and Canada, all right. So it include includes you, all right? Yeah. But guess what? It says Dragon Ball Super Superhero. Blu-ray and Blu-ray DVD set to release March 2023 US and Canada pre-order on Crunchyroll and pre-orders stop like sometime before they I guess they start shipping them out but there's no 4k mention <laughs> well I mean that goes past my ears because my eyes don't see past 720p <laughs> <laughs> I swear to god we were like yo this is in 1080p I'm like so what like where are you watching it like on your computer like are you watching it this close to the screen like, and then when they're 4k like you're sitting even further back from the tv how are you gonna know like i don't notice it like people they say they can they're all liars every one of them <laughs> yeah that's fair though that is fair because it it, it 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 depends on like how you watch you know your stuff because like if you're like on a computer screen or even like you know like a 24 inch monitor or like a 32 inch like you're not really gonna notice like those differences but like 4k releases are obviously for like you know when, when you have a home theater system you have anything that's like mm -hmm. 50 inches or bigger and you know, I know we got like a 60 inch in the living room so like looking at watching something like that and this is like the first 4k for dragon ball that they've ever had so it's it's just weird and kind of you know annoying because this happens all the time <laughs> that they are put there they not only did they have their own 4k release but they have a 4k like deluxe edition set with all these extras this release for us of course is the plain jane here's the disc here's the case here's the cover <laughs> and there you go get out you know what i'm saying that's that's literally what they do yeah i mean i think maybe i don't understand a little bit because uh anime is not uh shot in 4k they don't work in 4k resolution on their files they don't comp in 4k so whatever you're seeing is some sort of like ai upscale mm. and I can't imagine that looks good anyway. So like, you know, did you know, like when you print posters, like for like really big posters, they actually lower the DPI because you have to be further away to see it. So, um, they, you wouldn't sense. notice, like go up to a movie poster. Have you ever seen one like at a theater? You'll see like how, like the quality actually doesn't look that crisp, but you're, you're watching, you're looking at these things as you're walking by, like you'll never, there's no reason for it to be that expensive to print and that much DPI. Cause like, it doesn't make a difference. So oh. I, I wonder what it is like when people say 4K release, say like Star Wars, maybe I understand that. But like when it's uh, and like <clears throat> I think Batman The Dark Knight, it was shot on IMAX film uh, for the first like 10, 15 minutes of it. But uh, for anime, like I like the 60 FPS, which makes no sense because it's not animated at 60 FPS or <laughs> 4K releases when they're not animated at 4K. 
Like uh, I don't I don't assume that if you got like a, a 4K version of this DVD, if it, it would look like even really marginally better than a 4K version of like what you're getting right now. Mm. Okay. Yeah. But that said, maybe get a degreened awesome 4K version in the mail soon. <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah, like, so people are not even looking forward to this release because they know that Toei is just going to just slap on the English dub and just send the same disc, really. So mm. don't worry, because the fans are here yet again, okay? Because, it, like, it, literally in record time, record time, fans are working faster than they've ever done before, okay? <laughs> Japan messes up, Toei messes up, guess what? We fix it within a week, so there's already out there in the internet verse a fixed non-green 4K version. <laughs> <laughs> and that's that's crazy, right? Oh, fuck, man. Yeah. I swear. I want them to make a documentary about Dragon Ball Superhero and then the director's like, and you know, like I had an affinity to green. I really wanted to make sure that every scene <laughs> had green in it. And like everyone would be like, oh, okay, this they didn't want it that way. <laughs> yeah but yeah so there's that so let's let's so now let's get back on track with 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 this this new chapter right so right, so black freezer shows up so black freezer shows up at the end and so people were automatically like assuming like well shouldn't the next arc just be more focused about that well turns out nasir what they're doing is they're going back to go forward so goku's getting a next license <laughs> no, but you know what? Maybe some other characters might in this arc. So, who are we referring to? Goten and Trunks are Ooh, getting. Oh, and maybe you posted it. It was, it was called like the Teen Seiyas or something. Oh, I yeah, I, I made that up. The 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 Great Seiya Teens. Yeah, was that official art though? That's official art. Yeah, but I made oh, up cool. the name. So yeah, yeah. Take credit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course, right? So, so yeah, so. This new arc is supposed to take place before, during, and after Superhero. So that way, Superhero has like a definitive place point, which again is redundant. We've talked about this on several episodes. We literally dedicated last week just going over the timeline again in order, in great detail. I had our boy Dizzy, shout out to Dizzy. I said, here's the timeline, here are the details. Please make a graphic with everything in order like it was a freaking MCU timeline. And he goes, gotcha. Boom, it was done. Shared it. People saw it. And... I know, I know people saw it because like, oh, it got over like a hundred likes and you know, that definitely means like, oh yeah, this got eyes on it. Okay. And, and, mm -hmm. and even then people are still challenging me saying like, oh, it can't be. No, it's this year. It's that year. You, you're done. Okay. They don't know like, <laughs> it's, 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 it's crazy. Right? So regardless. For those that saw it, obviously, and I and I had a poll. I made a poll, okay, on our channel, and I asked if people like understood, like you know, a little bit better now because you know we went out of our way to again try to reiterate, like, <laughs> like all the, like everything, you know, from like from when Majin Buu was defeated all the way up until where we're currently at, mm -hmm. um, or, or at or at the end of Z, right? So let me see. So I'm trying to. Uh, oh no, that's uh, that's different. I oh, know I gotta go to my other channel. That's where I did the post. But a lot of people they said that they understood now. But it was scary at first because at first people were like, they were saying they they voted no that they still didn't understand. And I'm like, mm. bro, like what do you mean like this yeah i'm looking look at this 327 votes okay that that the timeline makes sense hold on so i'm looking at I'm, I'm i pulled up the channel right now community tab here we go do you understand that dragon ball super superhero takes place before the final ending moments of dragon ball z or are you still confused that is literally what i asked 80% of listeners and people that saw that said yes i got it 20% still say that they're confused. So there's still a, like a minority of folks out there 
that really just they don't know what one two three is they're like one two six like yeah, one two negative has something to do with power scaling because like if you think about like the broly first movie like gohan's age now they're fighting like the the strongest person in the galaxy and then they come back to fight cell if that's like the order it would go who knows but um do you think that's <laughs> part of like why people don't agree with it so i think a huge problem of why people are are still confused about it is a lot of what you said has has everything to do with people's mental power scalings and then like placements of the story and then their own head cannons like this should be this way because i feel like da 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 but their feelings are like basically 99.9% wrong okay right that's just this is literally what it is and what also does definitely does not help is the vagueness of Toriyama, of any of the powers that be that have gone on record saying like whatever they wanted to say, promoting the movie, because obviously you want to sell it. You want people to go and watch it. So, you know, like people will hit us with the Toriyama said, Toriyama said, right? And then we waited very patiently, right? And it was recently where Toriyama said, that superhero takes place before the end of Z. And even then, <laughs> right? We literally said that. I was like, there it is. There it is. So shut the fuck up, please. Right? Yeah. In the nicest way possible. <laughs> that was literally what we tried to do. But so yeah, so so here we are, right? Now we're talking about what this manga arc has to do. So there's some like preview images of drafts, but um, we do have a summary to read here and um it does look like just off of these draft pages that they do show for the first time what frieza's actual colors are for when they do black frieza and it's pretty mm -hmm. much how it, it looks dope right why why are people like freaking out about that i see everyone freaking out like oh my god they revealed his colors i'm like you really <laughs> could not figure out what black frieza looked like in <laughs> black and white are you fucking kidding me uh, yeah i mean listen kai you know how it goes jeez <clears throat> yeah you, you definitely know <laughs> it's basic it's basically <laughs> just like frieza but he just got black accents like you know mm -hmm. like on his like shoulders and like around his like you know neck area and everything like that so, so he's golden black no <clears throat> no yeah so i mean and then like you know like these are very rough draft pages so it look it, so it looks like goten and trunks are really taking on this whole saiyan man shit like seriously oh, cool. yeah nice. and, uh, <laughs> he's not happy <laughs> he's not happy this is not what he wanted for me i'm with the shits i love yeah. i love saying man I, I love all the superhero stuff you know power ranger fan obviously so you know every time they do any kind of reference yeah. ginyu force pride troopers you know i'm with it saying man i'm with it so the fact that this is happening now is really cool so they, it looks like they're just taking on like re really really basic like 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 a burglary or something like that <laughs> um so but not like a whole a lot B story yeah, oh oh yeah it's more like a d story to them because they yeah. like kai said he was over it before like you know it, it's it is even starting they don't want it i could totally understand I, I could totally understand why we're gonna see a little bit of action but like we've already discussed like there's nothing <laughs> crazy that's gonna come of this Arc. You know, this reminds me of like when I was really hype on Naruto when I was growing up and like things are just getting really heated. Then you get like this random episode like find Rock Lee's lost sock. Mm. I'm like, what the hell, man? <laughs> like, why, why do you have to break the flow like this? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So folks you know, are. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. You know what I did notice from that artwork is that uh, Trunks, Trunks went through another change. He's Blue oh. Gatorade Diamond now. Shut up. I'm There's trying to no visualize way. what that looks like. It's so, not. It's not even the same blue. It's not even the same blue that there was. Oh, you talk. Oh, you're talking about man. I don't listen. When it comes to Trunks' hair, man, like I give up. Like, <laughs> like it's it. It looks like it's not nah, man. Ever ever since we started talking about it, I've been on it now. <laughs> I need to know what the fuck is going on here. I need answers. 
I really hope, you know what the greatest thing out of this manga arc will be is if he explains his hair color. I, honestly, That'd be great. it would be perfect. I don't care what else happens. They could literally slip on a banana peel and end the whole thing right then and there. But as long as Trunks literally, like, like go to and Trunks have a conversation. Like, goes like, oh yeah, like, you know, I thought your hair, wasn't it purple? I could have sworn it was purple. And Trunks like, oh yeah, like after, like, you know, I saw my future self. I was like, oh, that's OD. Like, I, and then I just dyed it. And now it's like fading back to purple. That yeah. would be great. I would just just give us that and the rest i don't matter it doesn't matter freaking deborah could come back out of nowhere nothing they could just throw out anything spovich come out of nowhere for no reason and like it wouldn't matter as long as we get that hair explanation that'd be great right but let's see exactly what happens so i'm gonna read through this little summary um and then i guess we'll like give our thoughts on what to expect because we're gonna be doing like an actual review once the actual chapter is out um coming up on the live episode so this chapter is called the birth of the superheroes okay mm. so the chapter starts off with goku and vegeta back in beerus's planet goku Whis, and beerus and the oracle fish are eating yakisoba which is noodles uh while vegeta looks upon the sky looking at his new goal of defeating black frieza one day so he's gonna have that moment right so you know he you know he he's he's thinking ahead and he's gonna get hoed out of that one moment. We know how this goes. This is why we have legend, though. It's okay. Oh yeah, <laughs> remind them. Plug it in. Let's it's go. Okay. <laughs> Yo, side note to this very day, Nasir, I still have friends that haven't seen it, and whenever they do, they're so fucking mind blown. I'm not even kidding. I'm, Appreciated. Yeah, I, like, like literally, like I was at a tournament recently, and I ran into some friends that literally, like, I haven't seen it forever, and. I was with my other friend, Roxo, who's actually been on this podcast before. He's like the only other guest besides you and Geekdom that's been on here. And he loves you and he loves Legend. I'll just put it <laughs> put that right there. And he was like, like anytime we talk about Dragon Ball, he's like, he goes, but have you seen Legend? And then there, and when they say no, he stops everything. <laughs> whips out the phone takes out we, we, we and we just watch it and he and he always wants to see the people's fucking reactions to how amazing it is and and literally 100 percent of the time not nine times out of ten not eight no 100 percent of the time every time this has happened everybody comes out of that like yo that was fire when's <laughs> part two i'm just like right <laughs> up in the air up in the air <laughs> so, so all right so meanwhile on earth two mysterious mask men appear on the streets calling themselves the cleanup heroes say a man x1 <laughs> and say a man x2 to stop a jewelry store robbery so it's a jewelry store robbery yo <laughs> that's what they're calling them that's what they're calling it the, the, the <laughs> I love it. This is going to be fire. Okay. So the robbers and civilians in the, uh, I guess that says area. They have a typo here. Um, are surprised to, to see the heroes overturn the thieves car. Uh, they begin to deliver their heroic lines in front of the people. Uh, one of the thugs points a gun to the heroes, but X one destroys the gun and puts it in a bag and gives it back to the thief. So they're badass. Wait, they destroy the gun and get put it in a bag. Yeah. So they probably like, you know, they do like the, they do like the superhero thing where they like take the gun, oh, they probably yeah. squish it and they, you know, like, yo, that's fire. Yo, this is, I'm telling you, this is going to be the best arc. Can't <laughs> say this is going to be the Turns greatest. Frieza has been pushing the bullets. He's like, oh my god, we gotta, we gotta like, stop this shipment. Maybe the biggest pusher on the block. Yeah. Uh, hold on. All right. So then, all right. So then the thieves charge them with knives, but X1 and X2 dodge them with ease. They finish it with a double kick, and the thieves are down on the ground. Clean up complete. <laughs> They got slogans. They got slogans. Yo, I feel like Kai is dying inside. Just look at him. His, <laughs> his soul is just leaving his whole S's van. Such Yo. a troll. <laughs> Such a troll. How do you know any of this? Like, the chapter's not even out. So basically, right now, um, they're the, so the V Jump is the magazine that has these chapters in Japan. V Jump yeah. came out already. 
and that's how some of these scans are being like shared online uh, and okay. so the the chapter in itself got translated by someone who had who got a copy and then just put you know like mm -hmm. the the cliff notes essentially of what happens in the chapter so that's how i'm, I'm reading a summary of a translation pretty much so and this this was i don't know if i said this earlier but this is translated by dbs chronicles um who's who's been uh someone in the in the community that has shared a lot of information translated a lot of things um tried to leak a few things <laughs> didn't really work out so well but i digress so uh let's see here we go so the heroes unmask themselves after going to the rooftop of a nearby building and it's none other than go tan and trunks who 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 have now grown up so they talk about their dialogues and poses being similar to a game hero uh clean god so apparently they're they're inspired off of some fake ass video game hero <laughs> right Bruh. But, again, but then Gohan tells Trunks not to worry much since they're a duo while the clean god works alone. Mm, okay, so they're establishing something with that comment, right? Um, so then, just then, Goten receives a news alert. Chunks gets excited hearing the word robbery. <laughs> but, <laughs> but it's actually a robbery of personal information due to a cyber attack. Hmm, interesting, <laughs> right? So, so this makes Trunks lose all his excitement as there's no way they can fight cyber criminals. And then Goten notes that Trunks isn't so good with computers. That's okay. Yeah, okay. I guess that lines up. And then, um, and then Goten receives a call from Chi Chi, who angrily shouts at him for being late to home after school. Okay, that definitely sounds like Chi Chi. That, that checks out, right? Um, and then both Goten and Chunks haven't told their families about their hero activities. So this is totally on them. So this is their decision. And so far, this has nothing to do with Gohan being Grey Saiyan Man. Nor does it have anything to do with... Well, we'll that's, that's remained to be seen. We, we don't know. But so far, their inspiration is taken from a character that has not even existed in any of this story up until now. So, mm -hmm. nice Toyo Taro. Thank you. Thank you for that one. Um, um, anyway, so let's see. So, uh, yeah, so Goten and Trunks, they haven't told their families, right? So they change into their regular costumes and then Trunks wants them to have a wristwatch to switch costumes like Gohan did. Okay, here we go. So now, so now, now we're trying to take the inspiration from the great Saiyan man, okay? <laughs> Um, so since he can't ask Bulma, he decides to ask Pilaf. So Pilaf is involved in this shit? Are you kidding? <laughs> yo, yo, tell me this is not fire. Oh, it's not fire. Kai, tell me this is not fire. It's not fire. Okay. Nasir, tell me it's not fire. There's more to be seen. There's Let's more to be going. seen. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> He's giving it a chance. <laughs> He's giving it a chance. Right, exactly. That's how you gotta be. You gotta give it a chance, okay? You gotta give it a chance. Alright. So so Pilaf, so uh so makes him say, okay, so Goten leaves with the flying nimbus. Oh shout out. So we get to see the flying nimbus, right? So that's cute. And he leaves his superhero outfit with trunks. Trunks lands on the other side of the uh what is that oh the street and wanders it, or wonders it, this font is really small i'm so i'm so sorry if i'm butchering this but uh if he should change his outfit there or go home with the superhero outfit since he can't risk any civilians to know about his secret hero identity so then trunks gets surprised to spot his grandparents at a nearby flower shop. He quickly puts on his helmet to not let them know about him. Dr. Brief spots him and says, oh, aren't you the something man <laughs> who appeared on the on the scene earlier? And Trunks introduces himself as Hero Saiyaman X1. I love this. I'm not even gonna <laughs> lie. I can't wait to read this chapter. I like, I, I'm dead ass. So, all right, here we go. So. Uh, Dr. Brees, uh, uh, pet dinosaur recognizes Trunks and goes running toward him. Dr. Brief notes 
that their pet dino doesn't usually bond with anyone other than family so fast, to which Trunks replies that superheroes are loved by all. <laughs> Yes. He's really playing the part, bro. <laughs> He's playing the part, exactly. <laughs> All right. So then he orders Dino to sit and he flies away, right? So Dr. Brief notes that the number of youngsters flying in the sky has increased in the recent days. So that's a nice little joke. So Dr. Brief's uh, wife, uh, she said she comes near him after buying flowers. Upon hearing that, Dr. Brief was... Uh, talking to a superhero she wishes to talk to a hero one day uh too and then dr bruce tells her that the superhero's voice sounded very familiar to him so this is like i feel like this is like very cliche hero shit yeah like you know like so far like what what are, you, what are your thoughts on that so far nasir I, that's gonna be how it's gonna be you know <laughs> like a uh, great same man was the same way and they're they're paying respect to that but there's two of them now so I don't know how far they're gonna go with this. Like, is this like an isolated maybe two or three chapters, and you see the fun they have? Maybe something bigger happens. Like Frieza showing up. Like, give me your masks. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, who knows? <laughs> um, yeah, like, maybe it could lead to something really cool. Like, and that doesn't just feel like a B story. Like, just outside of like everything that's happening. Um, that would be wicked if they did develop some like sort of tech that could like be like integrated into like their Super Saiyan power or something like that. Hey, yeah, I, yeah. now we're talking. Hey, I like that. Yeah. Oh, oh I, I might be giving away some ideas that I've had before for like um, uh, my own shit. Legend spoilers! <laughs> yeah. Oh no! Anyway. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> so, so Brand, how uh, how you feeling so far about this? It's a joke. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Troll. Kai, have you changed your mind so far? I mean, we still got a little bit to go here. They're revealing the whole chapter. Why don't why don't why don't we finish it up first? Okay, all right. How much more is left? There's some there's some more text Holy here. Shit. This is this is the, this is the chapter summary. Chapter summary. They better, this is the, <laughs> they better get let us read the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. All right. So <laughs> what? So right here. So so Doctor Bree's wife asked to choose one from uh one from the flowers as she plans to gift them to Pan on joining kindergarten recently. So this is a clear indication that this is taking place before a superhero, which is already a contradiction. Because did Goten and Trunks not say that they haven't like done anything in a while? Or is this like a cover up? Like what they? Because I'm trying well, to. Well, I was gonna say it could be a cover up because no one's supposed to know right now that they're doing superhero yeah. stuff. Okay. Yeah. 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 No. Yeah. yeah. That's that's good because I was gonna say the same thing because like I remember in the movie where they like they you know they all casually just pull up as a group and like you know it's like oh go to the trunks you've grown and you know like they're like oh yeah we haven't done fusion in a while so that kind of was like an indication like oh like they haven't like really done anything so. That imagine if they fucked up on purpose. Stop. Oh my god, yo. Oh my yo. The the plot thickens. But why would they do that when they're fighting somebody that you know, like they're fighting a big villain? A big threat. Well, big you know, threat. that, yeah, that that's fair that too. That's fair too. So like the fusion part of it could definitely have been genuine. Like, you know, they haven't, you know, done that in a, in a while. But I think it is interesting to note that they got their whole superhero stuff before superhero the movie like it would i think that's that's the part that's upsetting me the most so far right because it it shows me that this time of them playing superhero on the streets is partially if not mostly wasted oh it is wasted because like fuck like there's they probably never fused during this time and that's why when they fought the big threat in the superhero movie, like they weren't able to do it or like they fucked up the fusion. So, yeah, you know? mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. We were saying like we we figured that they would have got the inspiration after, you know, like people like literally everyone was unanimous in, you know, in thinking that like them doing their superhero stuff that we're we're reading about now was after the events of superhero but it's happening before 
I could have at least held out hope if, if this had taken place after the movie, but since it takes place before it, I'm just I'm just waiting. I'm just riding it out. Yeah. Yeah, so let's see. So Dr. Briefs uh, thinks to gift Pan with a fancy airplane since the last time he saw her, she was upset <laughs> as she couldn't fly <laughs> like Piccolo and the others. So they're still doing this whole she couldn't fly before thing. But like, it's like they're trying to right a wrong with when in the anime she was flying as a baby. <laughs> like this, th like this happened already but i mean who knows maybe it's like one of those things where it's just like oh you know babies it was they, a fluke yeah it was a fluke thing right like you know babies are pissing and shitting themselves so she, if saiyans are just flying for no reason right they <laughs> they just it's just one of those things i don't know like we, we have to make sense of it somehow because Can you imagine how chaotic a flying baby would be and look but look how it was it's like pissing everywhere <laughs> Oh, with the sprinkling. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that's a sight, right? So let's see. So suddenly, uh, Dino notices notices something. It's the capsule corpse helper robots running away from a zombie. Oh, this is Doctor Hito shit. I could tell, right? So next day at Capsule Corps Corporation, Trunks goes to Pilaf to ask him about the wristwatches. Pilaf tells him and Trunks, uh, oh, tell him that Trunks is is ready and hands over to him gohans will be done in a day's time so hold on so they're employees now was this always a thing at capsule corp um i'm pretty sure after after their whole little shootout showdown with the with the dragon ball when they tried to like you know just i forgot who they held it like gunpoint or whatever <laughs> but um they tried to do all that you know boma confiscated it and just kept everything rolling they uh they got punishment for it so i feel like knowing boma they just gotta you know work it off she got dishwasher jobs they got <laughs> yeah right you know <laughs> something like that wow that is this is such this is this is peak dragon ball right here you know like all <laughs> all, all the comedy is just like rolling right now so i i, I dig it right okay so um so, okay, in return of keeping this a secret, Pilaf asks Trunks to keep the stealing of the Dragon Balls. There you go, Kai. Oh, wait, wrong one. There it is. Okay. A secret from Bulma. Trunks agrees and reminds him about his part of the deal, to which Pilaf says that he hasn't even told Shu and Mai about their hero activities. Hmm. Okay, so they got a little, they got a little, little John going on. That's pretty dope. Yeah. <laughs> So suddenly, Bulma interrupts them from behind and asks what they're talking so secretly. Uh, and Trunks gets surprised but manages to avoid the question. Bulma asks him if it isn't his school time. Um, Trunks is... What the heck? This is so... This is weird. Trunks is... I'm going to just read it verbatim. Trunks is runs for his school. They must have yeah, been typing. Yeah, she's saying, isn't it, isn't it time for school? And he's like, oh shit, yeah. And then he just darts off. Right, okay. So that, that makes sense contextually. All right. So then, but sees Mai and Shu uh, uh, pick up a heavy box and stops to help her. Um, Shu asks Trunks to help him lift his boxes too, but Trunks ignores him and leaves after <laughs> blushing and saying my goodbye. Or, or yeah, saying my goodbye. And then Bulma notices this. So he got the, the hots for he got he got the hots for my that's 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 no secret right okay so damn this is okay here we, we got we got we got a lot of here uh bomo confronts pilaf by telling him that she saw wait hold on, let me hold on i'm gonna open this in a new tab and try to zoom in because this is so small okay this is better thank you all right wait while you do that can i just turn on my lights go ahead wait one second yeah <laughs> the lights. This yeah. has to be the whole chapter. This is cat. Bro, that's like no, it's that, is, this chapter. is a, this is this is a summary. That's like forty fucking pages. <laughs> so so do you do you do you want to just leave the rest for the actual review then? I mean, how much is left? Well, this is part three <laughs> out of five. I just read the first two oh. parts. <laughs> <laughs> How many parts is there in a chapter? Well, Brandon, Yo. you have to understand, this is literally a summary of what happened in the manga. The manga is like 40-something pages. 
the so, fact that they just gave us the entire fucking shit. Well, that's why I'm asking, cause like, so uh, I made a community post also asking, do you guys want us to to do the spoilers? To do the, and a lot of people say yes. And people say yeah. Right. So I'm delivering. Right. Because <laughs> they want to read it. That's all. <laughs> want you to do it for them. <laughs> yeah. So so like I already read up to this uh, up to this much. So I mean, if you if 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 you want to hold off, then. Huh? Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> okay. You broke Brandon. Yo, see, because he, like, I, I mean, I can understand why, because, you know, like, after reading so much head ass to him, like, he, he, is he the man's getting fried just, all, just, just hearing this shit. So I, I totally get it. But I'll try to, I'll try to, I'll try to, I'll try to just, I'll just read fast. All right. Just so it helps you a little bit to. All right. <laughs> all right. Here we go. It's hurting my brain. All right, so hold on. Hey, matter of fact, here I'm gonna I'm gonna pull up. Oh yeah, so this I'm gonna open a new tab so that way I have these blown up as well. Okay, perfect. All right, so here we go. Okay, Bomba confronts, yeah. Bomba confronts Pilaf by telling him that uh, she saw him sneak into his room and steal the Dragon Balls from there in the surveillance camera. Since he's obviously gonna wish for something silly, Bomba wants him to hand them over to her to keep them in safe hands. Trunks leaves for school riding a bicycle, similar to what Gohan rode in We Got a Power song. That's actually a, a dope nod. Okay, Nate. so it's just but just not a, a capsule court model. Trunks arrives at school, the Blue Hall High School. Um, so that's what their school is called. He sneaks into his class from the window, but the teacher spots him and punishes him for being late. Trunks' friend Compass, <laughs> I fucking love it. <laughs> the dude's name is Compass. That's fire. Okay, asks him about the reason he's late, to which Trunks replies that he's been busy. Uh, with some after school work compass assumes it's related to capsule corp since trunks is going to become the next president confirmed nice okay good for trunks uh runs in the family clearly um wait oh yeah the one who's not good with computers right yeah right, <laughs> right. Um, uh, imagine that you couldn't figure out a news nord bbn the entire cyber <laughs> criminal game starts. Imagine what the Dragon Ball version of NordVPN would be like. It'd be like, like, shh, I don't know. I can't even think of something on, on my head. All right. So, uh, but Trunks makes it clear to him that he doesn't wish to be on that position. He wants more excitement in his life. That job is too boring, he thinks. Hmm, okay. So Trunks' friend Lula invites him to Butterfly Mountain for a test of courage game since the school hockey players reported ghost sightings. Oh, man, this is, this is filler as shit. <laughs> oh, my God. Trunks backs out saying it's too boring, but in reality, he's too afraid of ghosts. Hmm. Imagine that the humility, right? Wait, this is one chapter. This is all one chapter. <laughs> what I was saying. How? Oh. <laughs> take up the whole magazine that week. Yeah. Like, well, so odd. it's a it's a monthly. So these chapters are always between forty to forty five pages. What are giving us? That still 30. sounds like very little bit pages to go over all this stuff. <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, let's see. So after school, Trunks invites Goten to come over and place clean. To play clean god game. Trunks wants to be more active in his real life hero time, not in the game playing as a hero. Seeing Trunks' watch, Goten can't wait for his too. Trunks tells him that he used the watch once during recess to go buy two movie tickets to clean god's first day showing. Uh, Goten thinks uh, the ticket is for him, but Trunks tells him that he wants Mai to go out with her. Oh my god, the drama! <laughs> the drama! This is, fucking can't. this is the kind of anime that Brother Uj hates, by the Wait, way. Wait, Brandon, what did you say? I need cocaine? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. I thought I heard him say that. <laughs> no. No. Okay, so so let's see. So oh uh God. okay, yeah. So Trunks goes to the lab to ask out Mai for a movie that Saturday, movie that Saturday, but she rejects the invite as everyone in the lab is busy fixing the helper robots. Trunks asks the reason why so many robots suddenly need fixing. So Shu tells him that these robots become disobedient and ran away from their owners' houses. Pilaf believes that this is no malfunction, must be someone's doing. It's probably Hito. You don't care. All right. <laughs> 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 okay, so Shu tells that you don't that, think ghosts are possessing them. 
No. I, 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 you know, honestly, I feel like all this ghost shit is Hito's work too. Whatever. It's probably, yeah, he don't care. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so, Shu tells that according to some rumors, <clears throat> there's a group of people who appear at night and modify the robots, causing them to malfunction. Trunks thinks to catch those guys to free Mai for next Saturday. It's 100% Hito. There's no way it's not Hito. Let's find out. So, Trunks gets Goten. This is part four, by the way, so we're almost done. Trunks gets Goten and... Uh, and goes out to the streets at night. So they're in the streets. Oh, uh, The boys don't see anything suspicious in the area. Goten mentions that there have been reports of ghost sightings in that area too. Trunks shivers in fear. While Goten is calm, uh, Trunks says that as the son of a scientist, he can't believe ghosts are real. But Goten reminds him that both Goku and Vegeta both died once and came as ghosts to the real world. We're gonna refer to them as ghosts now. That's what that's what they were. Have we have we ever referred to them as ghosts when they came back during that time? What were we talking about last week, Kai? Retcons. <laughs> right. Retcons. Oh, gotta love it. They were ghosts, guys. Uh, Goku's crazy. a ghost. He's cast. He's related to Casper. Ghost coup. Ghost coup. Right there, it is. <laughs> so. Trunks bumps into a severe, severe, seriously injured faced man, uh, gets scarred and hides in the alley. Goten notices the seriously injured face man do something with a remote to an old man's robot. Dude, <laughs> Trunks, it sounds like an AI wrote it. <laughs> yeah. What the hell are you yeah. saying? A seriously injured faced man? No name. Or... Yeah. It's, probably, it's just like poorly like, like described, I guess, in this uh, translation. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, he notices the seriously injured faced man uh, do something with a remote to an old man's robot. Trunks thinks uh, he's wearing such a mask to scare people. It's probably Hito. A car passes by the boys with bright lights blinding them. They suspect the culprit is inside the car, so they follow it. It leads them to the rumored butterfly mountain where ghosts are sighted the most. Trunks is scared. He wants to go home, but Goten wants to continue. Goten reminds him that solving this case would let Mai go on a movie date with him. Man, this is all to impress Mai. Holy shit. This is fucking great. Okay. Peak Dragon Ball, like I said. Okay. So, so, so Trunks and Goten uh, find out. Oh, wait, hold on. Did I... Okay, yeah, yeah, sorry. Trunks and Goten find out that their helper robots were reprogrammed to work at their factory. A heavily injured man in bandages notices intruders, but it's actually Trunks' friends. The man in bandages grabs Compass by the neck. Oh, so we got some action, right? Um, Trunks asks Goten to wait outside as he transforms into Saiyan Man X1 and goes inside to save them. So at this part, I hope... That Trunks does a fucking it's morphin time. <laughs> yeah. I I hope he does some shit like that. And it's it's OD, right? I, I hope he does. That'd be freaking great. That'd be the greatest part right there in that chapter. For me at least. Right. So he arrives at the nick of time and saves Compass. The zombies gang up on Trunks, but he easily sends them flying. Trunks hits their leader with an up cycle punch, but he blocks it. He says his body had been modified to withstand a certain amount of impact. It's Hito. It's Hito 100%, bro. So, as Trunks is about to try out another one of his finishing moves. This is great. The watch time. Oh, no. The watch time's out. Bro, how do they have this curse of they got a time limit? Even for their superhero <laughs> shit, there's a time limit. That is incredible. He loses his costume and his identity is revealed to his friends. Goten destroys the lights and takes away the schoolmates to safety, leaving Trunks behind. Goten tells them that it was those ghosts doing. They made them hallucinate into seeing Trunks as Saiyan Man X1. So Goten's the homie. Okay. Smart man. He yeah, yeah. He he Oh, so you're into it. I really Oh, know. I thought we had you. I thought we had you. I thought we had you. Right? So so Goten's the homie. He's doing he's doing a solid, right? Trying to look out for Trunks. And then back in the factory, Trunks defeats the leader by going into Super Saiyan. Oh. <laughs> Nothing? Okay. Thought so. All right. Back in the factory. Oh, yeah. Goes into Super Saiyan. Trunks finds 
a safe. In it was a disc titled Dr. Giro. Mm. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Plot thickens. He takes it to home to check it later. Final part. Okay. And we've made it. Super Cop Krillin arrives. Let's go. <laughs> Super Cop Krillin. Come on, Kai. What's up? I thought not so. his power level. Oh, okay, not his. <laughs> so Krillin? No, no. Okay. Nasir Krillin? If he pulls off some Super Cop Jackie Chan, then we're done. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> right? You know, staying optimistic. All right. So he arrives at the spot. He was there as he got a report from a nearby resident seeing moving corpses in the area. Trunks gets shocked uh, in fear hearing moving corpses. Krillin further informs them that recently many bodies were stolen from the mortuary. Or, or Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So people who saw those dead bodies moving here reported to the station. Sometime later, Dr. Hito, there it is, returns to the factory at Butterfly Mountain. He notices all his Alpha soldiers knocked down on the ground. Alpha 12, the leader, gives him Trunks' school badge and say that a kid from this school did this. Dr. Hito is pissed to see that Dr. to see the Dr. Jiro disc is missing from his safe. The the sushi business was starting to catch pace now, but thanks to Trunks, Dr. Hito has to find a new business to carry out his expenses. <laughs> Interesting. I was almost going somewhere. It was yeah, it was it, it was almost going somewhere. So so then the next day, Trunks comes to the lab to go out to the movie with Mai, but Pilaf tells him that a lot of severely broken helper robots were collected from Butterfly Mountain, so they need to fix it or they can't get to sleep. Trunks realizes it was him who did that to those robots. And the end note, it says, what's on the disc that Trunks found? Next time, Hito's operation begins. And that is chapter 88, spoiler summary. Nasir, what are your thoughts on this riveting chapter that we just heard? <laughs> okay, so I thought at the end where his disguise is uh, undone, I thought the whole thing was gonna wrap up in one chapter. He's like, oh, everyone knows. And also I found this disc to, I don't know what Hito is, but is that like an organization? Oh, sorry. So Dr. Okay. So yeah, that's right. You didn't watch the movie yet. So Dr. Hito is essentially the grandson of Dr. Jiro, essentially. Okay. Yeah. So I thought that this data disc is supposed to be some sort of info for like a cybernetically enhanced Frieza. Mm. So... But it didn't go anywhere because the guy apparently has like a rice store or something and he can't like, but he has to like, like incorporate again, like a, make like a new business. Like right. I don't know what it is. So, um, that didn't, uh, really go anywhere. <laughs> so for, if you're looking for some, the, the playful part of Dragon Ball, that's classic. And right. It's, it's going to be fun. Right. And if you're looking for stomping action, you're going to have to wait a little longer. I think. Right. Brother Ooch. Tell the people your thoughts, your dissection of this amazing piece of literature. To waste the time. <laughs> 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 Clear. <laughs> simple. Simple. Kaisan, I need to know your thoughts, your in-depth analysis on chapter 88 summary of the spoilers. Please. The floor is yours. Um, tr truthfully speaking here, I think Nasir put it best. I feel like, you know, if, if you're looking for that fun, you know, classic whimsical feel of Dragon Ball, then shit, it's definitely more for time. You got it. <laughs> but if that's not what you're looking for, then, uh, yeet. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, like, and this is, so this is the part where my whole, my whole deduction of this chapter, right? I am very excited to read it because... It's something that is so different from what we're expecting because y'all passed it up, right? You, and I'm talking about you two, Kai and Brad. <laughs> yeah. but, the, but I passed it up for a different reason. I passed it up because I feel like all the things I'd want to see them do or the directions I'd like to see them go, they're just not doing it. And that's fair. They're just, yeah. they're just on this free ride doing whatever they feel like where things don't make sense and it's just a bunch of filler stuff. And 
I'm not really here for it. No, I get it. And that's fair. Like, I totally, I totally understand that, right? Like, that is the beauty or ugliness of Dragon Ball, right? <laughs> there is literally going to be something for everyone. And I could tell you right now that, like, since I feel like I'm in the minority of being, like, a great Saiyan man fan, right? Like, <laughs> absolutely. I will, yeah, right? Like, that much is true. <laughs> I will always like and i'm a real one so i keep it real all the time right if if, if i'm in a room of people they say they don't like saying man i'll be the only person that say i like saying man right and that's just the truth because again i'm i i like i i can appreciate the goofy shit okay because there's always a time and place okay and right now because this arc that they're selling us is not really going to be doing much of anything all it's really like that it's you have to understand that that's exactly what it is it's a whole lot of nothing right so because of that i feel like you know what rather than just be like all mad and like you know like all oh, like this fucking bullshit like this this is <laughs> shit you know what i'm saying like i'm just gonna be like all right whatever we're just going on the ride and like like when you turn your brain off when you watch superhero i gave it a nine out of ten I was like, yo, this shit, yo, remember the first time we watched that movie, bootlegged, mind you, okay? I thought, I was like, yo, this movie is fire. That's what I said, right? That's mm -hmm. what I said. And then after I let it simmer, I let it settle, I let it marinate for a little bit. We started talking more about what was fucking going on. That's when my score dropped, okay? Because, <laughs> yeah, no, but that's, the re that's reality, right? <laughs> like you off rip, you gave it like a six or a seven. Six. Right. Kai, what did, do you remember what you gave it? When you yeah, I I gave it a seven, and then when I saw it in theaters, I bumped it up because I actually really liked it. Right. So you know the, the, the whole point, right? Realistically, guys, and is that Dragon Ball is always gonna be this. This is this is the heart of the series. Okay, all of this like comedy humor, like very like home style kind of like fundamental shit like this is almost like tastes and flavors of dragon ball classic you know what i'm saying like we're gonna get a little bit like a very minute bit of you know fighting and action and whatnot i mean trunk goes super saiyan in this chapter right so it's like take that for what you will but like you know at the end of the day it's just like it's just something different and it's like it's like a change of pace because honestly it is really cool to see an arc where it is literally about these two and not focused on anyone else. Whereas think of the last several years that we've had where it's just always been about their dads. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I'm just very like, whatever. Do do what the mm -hmm. fuck you want, Toyotaro. Have at it. You know? I'll say something about that too. Like yeah. Dragon Ball is a rare um property where, you know, like it's not always a good idea to market something for everybody. Because you yeah. want you want to hone in your audience, right? But they have something for everyone, boys and girls, adults and children. And uh, the adults might get bored when they see stuff like this. <laughs> yeah, then, definitely. And, and the kids may not. And then, but when the, all the when Vegeta and Goku show up, and there's someone badder than everyone there, like everyone gets what they want at that point. <laughs> so yeah, it's just that's not true. Turns yet if if you're not liking it. Yeah, and then of course we have Legend. So there is that. <laughs> all right, that that's for the, that's for the real ones. You, you feel me? <laughs> when you want, when you want, we just like, oh, you love Dragon Ball, you love it. All right, if you really love it, check out Legend. That's all I gotta say <laughs> about that. So, so yeah, that's the that's the chapter summary. Um, I can't wait for to actually see it, read it, you know, see all the visuals and everything like that. Um, but actually, there's some 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 takeaways that I guess we can I can kind of like get a sense of from where exactly this could actually take place prior to superhero. And so you remember in the beginning um of the movie where they're like they're like where where um magenta and the other guy what the hell was his name with the freaking the hair i don't know his like his like the, his assistant or whatever like he was doing that like presentation on hito and like they were like gonna try to like you know go get him to like recruit him for the red ribbon army and all that shit. but then like as they're going through his presentation like his like slideshow they show a scene where man's had those zombies working at the grocery store. Oh, you have to do your thing. I was, I was going to say, do you think that this, oh. um, do you think that this correlates to how he got arrested? Yes. 
that's what I was gonna that's what I was gonna point out, right? Because I know this is a little bit of spoiler territory for you, Nasir, because you haven't seen the the movie yet. But yeah, you guys ruined the movie hours ago. Oh, okay, <laughs> all right, gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> but like, but yeah, like that's essentially what I think. Where I think the placement of this film actually takes place is because it is is right before he gets arrested. But then, do you remember how long his sentence was? It was a couple months. Yeah, because I can't. I remember if it was six or four months or something like that, where he, you know, like, like he, 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 like I was gonna say, I was, I almost thought that this was a retcon in and in and of itself because I'm like, dude, they just came to this movie and like, this is contradicting things that they already had in the movie, right? But like, but I remember that. In the movie, they explained that, you know, Hito was out there. They explained his family lineage. He's the a, a grandson of Dr. Jiro and all that stuff. And then he's like, like a fantastic scientist or whatever. He graduated college hella early. And then, and then like, he's tried to fund his own research or whatever by, you know, making the zombies, like program those zombies, like these, these dead bodies like work at a uh, at a grocery store and like he would you know earn money that way so i guess not only did he have that grocery store he had like a sushi place too according to this chapter so he he had like multiple establishments so i wouldn't be surprised if at maybe even by the next chapter or the, the one after that we actually get to see hito getting arrested because then that would just fit right in to where you know because then superhero kind of takes place from there because superhero does a lot at the beginning it essentially gives you a recap from dragon ball all the way to like sell right oh that's basic yeah that, yo when you see oh, that have you well, i have seen it yeah. yeah it is probably the best thing i ever seen <laughs> like, it's yes so cool. yes it's fire and the animation kubota od like he is definitely a mainstay and i can't wait to see what else he he cooks up for dragon ball in the future but all those opening prelude scenes that recap that was done by him and like that the first part of that movie was all recap in and of itself and then it taught and then and then and then they even tied in events prior to when they went to go pick him up when he got out remember that when when uh they waited some time uh to you know like see his sentence out so so yeah so i mean i'm sure we're gonna find out exactly when in that next chat well whenever it happens but i'm looking for i'm you know outside of that i'm just looking forward to seeing like other because you know there's gonna be time skips in this in this in this arc you know there better be <laughs> get to the point and shit yeah but yeah that's pretty much it so um is there any other thoughts that you guys want to throw out there as far as this chapter is concerned or the future any prediction speculation anything like that no <laughs> kai you no nasir you're gonna pick up this chapter and read it on tuesday uh i'll put it this way i have a large list of stuff including god of war 5 oh, that will the rock. be able to take up my small bit of free time so this may not make the top. <laughs> oh, that's fine. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right. That's fair. By the way, I just beat Ragnarok. Beautiful. Oh mm. my god. I actually yeah, no, dude. I'm, I'm far into it. Yeah. I beat God of War 1, 2, 3, 2018. Just in time to play Ragnarok on time. Wait, did you play four? Four is 2018, yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I was just testing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's that good shit! <laughs>